Hello everybody, my name is Edson and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. I've had a lot of questions because I've had the whole of August off from Minecraft and it's mid-September and there's been no more Minecraft on the channel. So I've, I've received quite a few questions in my streams, I've received quite a few, uh, a few questions on YouTube video comments and I'm just going to address the topic and basically give you guys the rundown of what is happening with my channel with Minecraft content on both YouTube and Twitch in 10 questions. Yes, 100% I'm going to be uploading Minecraft again on YouTube. I'm leaning more towards vanilla. I'm about 95% certain that it's going to be vanilla content. Modded is fun, but I feel like modded is is something that is a little more grindy and for me is something that's a huge learning curve. So I don't really want to commit to a modded series because ultimately the last two that I've done, I've not really enjoyed and, and, and forced me to stop because I've been trying to record it. And because I don't really understand everything, it wasn't as fun for me to record. So I want to keep any modded that I do uh, to just off camera stuff. So I'm 95% leaning even more percent, like 99% even uh, towards vanilla content. Hopefully it will be on a server. I 100% want to be part of a server. I, I love the community. I love the environment. And I love that aspect of playing on, on a server with other people. It's a lot better when, even if I don't collab or, or, or record with those people super, super often, it's really nice to see the world develop around you, uh, things built that you are not a part of, and just generally adding to a world rather than you shaping the whole world sort of thing, you know? <laughs> There's a load of reasons why I don't want to rejoin Timeshot and mainly it's just the ones that I said in the video. I still stand by quite a lot of those points uh, even though I don't feel as strongly now because it's not really in the heat of, of, of certain things happening. Um, it's I, I, I still stand by everything that I said uh, and I know Timeshot's changed. I know that they've got like a mod pack coming out or something like that uh, or they're creating like a custom mod pack with like a server or something. So. Props to them. I'm, I'm really happy with them. I hope it goes well. Would that have made me stay if that was to happen before I left? I don't really know. Maybe. But it's all what ifs and buts and stuff. Because who knows that that happened because of the people that left. Or the, those changes may not have happened. I don't know. No. I've not been approached by any servers i've not approached any servers i have not spoken to anyone at all 100 you can this is truthful i've not spoken to anyone about joining another minecraft server no one at all i had a couple of people that contacted me uh on the midst of me leaving timeshot that owned servers and i say servers like servers because it was just them and their friends <laughs> like a two or three of their friends that wanted to start a Minecraft server and and best of luck to them and everything like that. But I sort of, it's it's not the thing that I'm looking for. Um, I'm looking for an actual server with a YouTuber mindset, community there, already, already started sort of thing, you know? I'm probably gonna record a series most likely a shorter one, not like a super long one that I, I have to dedicate loads of time to, but something just to tie me over, get me back into it, and, and, and get the feel again for creating Minecraft videos on YouTube. I honestly don't know. I've been tempted to bring back old series, like the very first series that I, I launched my channel with was a Survival Island series, and I'm thinking of bringing back an iteration of that, uh, something vanilla related, survival island with certain rules and things that I can't do and have to do and and, and stuff like that. Or maybe even like an achievement hunt or something like that. Uh, who, who knows? Like we, we could try and do like an achievement hunt, survival island type thing. Um, if there's any suggestions, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to take all suggestions on board because I'm open for any right now. <laughs> Uh, 
Honestly, I don't know. There could be a server out there. I know that there's there's some. There's not loads anymore. Um, who knows if any of them are even looking for members? Who knows if any of them even think that I will be a good fit as a member? I don't know. Uh, it's it's something I personally need to look at because I don't think a server is going to come to me. I think I need to approach another server. So hopefully, I can I can approach one and possibly inquire about applying and getting through the application process and maybe even joining if any of you guys know of any servers please let me know in the comments down below because that will greatly help me then i just continue to produce content as i am uh i'm i'm, I'm definitely most likely going to be producing this vanilla series uh in the meantime of between possibly hopefully joining servers uh, and if I I can't find a server or, or no server wants me or anything like that, then I'll just continue to produce content in the way that I am and in the way that I enjoy. And as, as long as I keep enjoying producing Minecraft content on YouTube, I will always find a place for it and find a series, whether it be on a server or not. Ideally, I'd like to be on a server, but if it's not, if it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. I will produce content as I see fit and as I want to. Yes, of course. I don't have any video. I'll definitely get some videos soon. But here's a picture of him. He's a chocolate Labrador uh, and Collie Cross. His name is Coco. He was a drug dog for a prison. He's 13 months old. Interesting story. He actually was really good like when he was in the cells and stuff like that, uh, searching for dogs and everything like that. But all drug dogs, they have to like do everything. They have to be able to do all of the jobs that a drug dog can do in a prison. And he, as soon as he got to the visitors and, and, and sniffing the visitors for, for drugs and, and smuggling stuff in and everything like that, he got like two or three down the line and just wanted to be like stroked and wanted to play. Um, and you can normally train that out of some dogs. Um, they couldn't train it out of him, so they had to find a new home for him uh, or they had to send him back to the place that they got him from and then they would find a home for him. Luckily, we managed to get him before they sent him away, uh, which was good. Um, so, yeah. Coco, our new dog, 13 month old, he's full of energy, he's super fit and yeah, it's, it's, it's a great dog, he just constantly wants to be touching you, he constantly wants to be uh, being stroked, he, he loves fuss, he loves to play, um, he's a great dog and I'm, I'm really enjoying him, I've had him for about a week now, um, I'm, I'm sure there'll be videos and plenty of more opportunities to see him in, the, in many, many, many years to come. And that's that, hopefully you guys have enjoyed it, hopefully that's answered some of your questions. Uh, if anyone from a server is watching this, by any means, um, please contact me. Uh, I know this may possibly get linked to some people. Uh, I don't know because, like I said, I don't, I don't know if there's any servers out there now that are looking for people. Um, but if there are, hi, I'm Edson. I'm loving Minecraft at the minute and I love vanilla Minecraft. Uh, if you want me to apply for your server, I would love to. I'd love to at least speak to you guys. Uh, whoever that is, if there's anyone out there listening. I don't know. <laughs> that sounded weird. All right. Speak to you guys later. Take care.